everybody and welcome to this V-Ray for SketchUp tutorial. Today we're going to look how you can use the V-Ray Clipper and SketchUp's native section plane to cut through geometry while rendering. This allows you to showcase your project in many different aspects and the great thing is that it's non-destructive so it's basically a rendering effect applied while the image is rendered and if you delete the section plane or the Clipper the geometry stays the same. Let's start exploring this one and here we have our office building downloaded from the SketchUp warehouse. I'll start an interactive render so you can see how it looks right away. So here is our office building as you see. We want to cut through it to showcase the plans inside the building and give the customer an easy way to navigate and realize what's going on behind closed doors. One way of doing so that I'm sure you are familiar with is the SketchUp section plane. What we need to do to create it is from Tools, select section plane and just click on the surface we want it to cut. Okay? And here it is. You can select it and move it around. So now of course if I click render what we see in the viewport would be what is rendered. This is the native way of SketchUp cutting geometry and it's a very useful tool but using V-Ray allows you not only to see it in render but also optimize it in different ways. If you want to find your section plane inside V-Ray you can go to the V-Ray Asset Editor and there in the Geometry tab there it would be section plane. From here there are a few things you can adjust to your section plane when it comes to V-Ray. And the main one is the Use Object Material option. So by default it will showcase the material that it's cutting through. If we disable this one, we can pick any material from the scene for the section plane to cut through. So I can go into the materials, create a new material. Let's call it a section material. I'll make it a bold color so we see it clearly. And then going to the geometry tab, if I select the section plane and pick the material, right away you see in interactive render it's showing us the bold, bright material where the section plane is cutting. Of course, you can uh, not only use this type of a color, you can use any material that you would normally in V-Ray and if there is a texture, it will be pl planarly projected over there. The section plane is a great way of showcasing your geometry inside the render in a very different way. But I want to show you another one which is coming from V-Ray, which is the V-Ray Clipper. I'll delete the section plane. Our geometry is not destroyed, which is wonderful. And let's create a V-Ray Clipper. The V-Ray Clipper works like the section plane with the main difference that it can be any piece of geometry you like. So any shape you want to use, you can use as a V-Ray Clipper. Let's create a more interesting shape. Nothing too much, I just want to show you the clipper in action. Okay, so we have the cylinder and be sure that the shape is either a component or a group for the clipper to work. So I'll make this one a group and position it over our building. Now if we render, of course we see this big cylinder. But if I select the cylinder group, and from the toolbar press convert to clipper you can see that now it is cutting through the geometry just like the section plane but in a more interesting shape you can of course move it around and use the same thing we did with the material from the V-Ray Asset Editor where we can just go to geometry there we have the mesh clipper and here we can assign a different material. You can use the same one or I have another called clipper material 
which is again just a bold color. You can also change the mode to the V-Ray Clipper, Form Subtract to Intersect. In this way, it will basically invert the clipping and showcase only what's inside of the geometry. Another great thing you can do with the V-Ray Mesh Clipper is the fact that you can isolate it or in other words, make it clip only a certain pieces of geometry. What do I mean by that is that I can take this group, take only the walls of the building, not the windows, not anything this side, just the outside wall, and make them in the same group as the clipper. The clipper is clipping only the outside walls of the building and everything inside stays, inter, um, stays whole. This can be mixed and matched in any way you like, so just by combining a few clippers you can create very interesting, very interesting designs of your building. Let's make the clipper material something more construction-like. From the V-Ray Asset Library I want to pick some bricks. Okay, and going into the clipper and assign those bricks. Adjust the illumination a bit. Okay, I really like this one and I just want to go a step further and add another clipper on the inside level to show you how you can mix and match between more than one. In order to do so, I'll create another cylinder or just copy paste this one, just outside of the group, okay, make it smaller, move it inside. For a second I'll hide this one. and group this clipper with the second floor of the building. Unhide everything. And now if we run them, and we can see our second clipper clipping inside. Let's render a bigger resolution of this. And showcasing your project in construction has never been easy. Working with V-Ray, the section plane and the V-Ray clipper, you can make really elaborate and interesting images with your geometry inside SketchUp. Hope this was useful and thank you for being with us.